kind of relationship did you have with the natives? Well, actually, madam, I've had several proposals of marriage during my travels with the aboriginals. And believe me, when you're above the Arctic Circle and it's 40 degrees below zero, marriage is not so much a romantic notion as a practical means of sheer survival. <laughs> However, I have until now always managed to do the honorable thing. And what would that be? Run as fast as I can. <laughs> Mr. Connolly, you, you, you search for antiquities the world over. And I believe you have a particular interest in the Norse sagas. <clears throat> oh, indeed I do. We've had a controversy here over a, a fine made near Lake Superior in 1936. I, I wonder if you might comment. Well, I'm a strong believer in Viking peregrination. The uh, Kensington Stone proves they were in Minnesota in the 1300s, so any evidence that they were in northern Canada would not at all surprise me. Mr. Conley, I'm a loyal supporter of the museum, but I find your method of procuring antiquities to be better suited to a confidence trickster. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but you can't judge the world I move in by the standards of drawing room society. How do you mean, sir? Primitive cultures throughout the world are being plundered, assimilated, or even destroyed by a combination of business, government, and, if you'll excuse me, the church. Museums are the protectors and guardians of these people's culture and inheritance, and I have no intention of apologizing for my role in that. <laughs> My question was of more than academic interest. I do, Mr. Uh... Uh, Johnson, Headmaster St. George's College. And you say a student of your censure this from Northern Manitoba? A former student, uh, Jamie McNair, wonderful athlete. School hasn't won a football match since we lost him. Whole affair, most unfortunate. Parents died in a car accident, and the school, well, we just couldn't afford to keep him. I understand. Now, the boy is. Uh... Trustworthy? Oh, yes, of course. If he says he discovered that spearhead, then he did. Do you really suppose it, it might be Viking? Well, it is possible. But uh, highly unlikely. But, but I, I thought you... The location is the problem, you see. A, a discovery in Lake Superior is one thing. But a find in northern Manitoba would be, well, next to miraculous. Oh, I, I, I see. Uh, but, uh, if you like, I could take it around to the universities and get a second opinion. Oh, well, that would be wonderful. Mind you, I can't promise a speedy reply. Academics are the slugs of humanity. Uh, well, I, I think Jamie simply wants to get the mystery cleared up one way or another. I, I think he, uh, hoping that his discovery might uh, allow him the possibility of returning to his studies. He sounds like a fine fellow. Oh, he is a fine lad. Ow. Jamie, I'm looking for the black trunk. Did you move it? No. It had a CPR sticker on it. Haven't touched it. Well, get up and help me look. Why? What's in it? My suit. Well, I can't marry Lenore in these. Get the lantern. Hello, brother. Yes, in. You still want to marry my sister? <laughs> what, what do you think you're doing? We don't just let anyone to cry, you know. <laughs> I can't, I can't. A wasp has got me in a headlock. <laughs> then we have to make sure they can float. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? 
It's, uh, it's not exactly a, a suit, is it? <laughs> Last time I wore this was the Battle of Passchendaele. And that, uh, of course, was when the Germans attacked you with the moss. Oh! <laughs> now, come on, you don't want to be late for your own wedding, do you? Beginning to think you're gonna come. No, 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 just hit. Hey, I hope the bride isn't jealous of his wedding dress. I heard that. <laughs> Hello, Angus. Not too late for me to fly to safety. Flabjack, when do you get in? This morning. Brought me Austin's daughter with me. Angeline's back from school. Yeah, she's home for good now. It's about time she got married, too. <laughs> <laughs> Why did him? Dick knows. He invites himself. We robbed our trap lines. Friends come to your wake, lad. Enemies come to your wedding. Hello, Lenore. You look beautiful. Since she went away. You think she's better? She's she's grown up. Who's that guy she's with? It's Asap. They were promised to each other when she was 12. But what if she doesn't like the guy? What if she changes her mind? It's our way. Flapjack! Get out your fiddle. I want to take my bride for a reel. Well, I thought you'd never ask. Come on, Lenore. Come on, Joe. Let's warm it up a little. Disagreement. You should tell your pop to mind his own business, Storch. You hurt my family. That is my business. Angus, I don't know then. You should listen to your woman. Oh, we're not gonna fight, Big Nose. Not on my wedding day. No. We're going to race. <laughs> What's the matter, Wasis? Well, if Angus wins, Big Nose has to shave off half his beard. <laughs> Wouldn't it have been easier just to hit him? Shut up and start. But if Big Nose wins, Angus pays him $50. $50? How many pounds they carry? 500? <laughs> Are you ready? Go! Come on, 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 come on,
Come on. Come on, Uncle. You can do it. Come on, we're big step. Come on. Right here. Big house. This side of the bed. Bye, Angus. See you in the morning. Not too early. your family will mind. What's one more? As long as you don't snore. I just don't want to be in any trouble. Mr. Isn't that a stranger? Yeah, he's not here anymore. Well, that's good. Well, I hope he's doing well. Yes, he is. Well, I'm going to go see him. Come on, Angus. Come on, Angus. She's trying to help. I don't need a boy's help. She's not even 17. <laughs> Maybe I should just stay somewhere else. Hey, don't listen to her. Come on. She's always been a little bit crazy. Maybe I should just clear out. Float off down the river like Tom Sawyer. Who? A fellow in a book I read. Come on, brother. I want to sleep. Your sister's going to make Aesop a lovely wife. More flapjack. Oh, yeah. Where do you get the other plane? Tom. And they take us right to Mary Lake, the most beautiful spot in Manitoba. Hey, I'm doing this for you, Lenore. When I get some, is don't want to win ten honeymoon. No one in my family ever had to have one. We gotta move on, Agnes. It's gonna be dark before we get there. Goodbye, Nosen. Take care of yourself. Here. Son of Ragnar, from Nidaros, Anno Domini 977, servant of the White Christ. I knew it. I could just make out Cooner's name, but nothing else. Is this another one of your Irish jokes, Connolly? <laughs> if it is, it's on me. How did you acquire this? A young boy found the spearhead in northern Manitoba. You'll be looking for the Heluland Sagas. The story of Kunar Ragnarsson. Set out from Norway with a company of 21 men bound for Greenland, carrying the White Christ, which had proven its magic at the sack of Paris. An inlaid crucifix of white gold, part pagan, part Christian, like Kunar himself. Poor Kunar. He missed his landfall and sailed beyond Greenland to his death. Pure myth. There's no historical reference to Kuner and only one to the White Christ. Aha, uh -huh. until now. Often there's a cryptographic text concealed within the plain text. What could it say? I don't know. I'd need time. How much time? Why? What do you intend to do with it? Oh, I, I have no idea. What would you suggest? Nothing personal, Connolly. But this thing is bigger than you. Bigger than any treasure hunter. What, you want to let the government in on it? 
Let me consult with my colleagues. Naturally, nothing will be decided without your intimate involvement. Howard, I am merely a visitor to your fair dominion. It would only be right for you to take the lead. You'll keep it safe, huh? Yes, of course. Don't worry. I'll be in touch. Howard, I'm not worried. The white Christ is in good hands. Oh, yes, it's in good hands. Beautiful hands. Let's have that rifle, said Constable John Saunders, reaching for it. But the lunatic threw back his head with a whoop of laughter straight from Hades. Stay away, Mountie. I'm out to kill and no one's gonna stop me. Quick now, thought Saunders, calculating the distance to the madman's shack. There's a pistol inside, and that's the best shot I've got of ever seen Colleen again. This side of the grave. Who's there? Wasis? Mayasin? Funny, you know.
Welcome to beautiful Stewart's Landing. Look at it. It's my mother. We can rebuild the cabin, Jamie. Everything's gone. Everything Angus worked for. The only thing Angus will care about is that you got out alive. It wasn't your fault, Jamie. I'm scared. What? The storm. I thought I saw something. What did you see, Jamie? I didn't know you still had that. What do you mean? You saw me take it out of the stone house. Yeah, but I thought you left it in the barrens. Well, I thought it might be worth something. It belongs to a dead man, Jamie. Most things in a crypt do. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's cursed. You have to bring it back. Oh, yeah. That's right on top of my list of things to do. Beautiful. How are things? I'm fine. But there was a fire at Angus and Lenore's the other night. A fire? Yeah. Jamie hurt? No, but their home was burnt to the ground. Well, this is a land worthy of myth and legend, is it not? <laughs> you must be from the government. I didn't think it was that obvious. The name's Connolly, Martin Connolly. I'm Angeline. Now, don't tell me all these are yours. No, no. None of them. <laughs> uh, 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 Mr. Connolly's uh, come up here to have a look, see at some, uh, some spearhead that your brother and Jamie found. So what part of the government are you with, Mr. Connolly? Mines, minerals, and Indian affairs. Really? Well, can you tell me then why they sent someone for an old piece of metal, but no one when we had the influenza? Alas, public health is not my department. But then I'm sure that, uh... Good heavens, what an extraordinary looking man. Uh, well, that's our, uh, big nose. I can't imagine why you'd call him that. You, uh, you really do work for the government, don't you, Mr. Connolly? <laughs> so, uh, where is your brother? Like you lads have your work cut out for you here. I believe you're Jamie. Always a pleasure to meet a St. George's old boy. How do you know I'm Jamie? <laughs> There's a lot of people there eager to see you come back. Oasis, I just met your lovely sister. I'm Connolly. I'm a government man, and we believe you've made an important discovery here. My headmaster showed you the rubbing? Indeed, he did. I'd love to see the actual piece. Sure. alphabet. Right, lad. But more a code than an alphabet. You see, each one of these symbols here represents a universal concept, a truth. Magical powers to unlock secrets of nature. Where did you find it? Uh, up north in the Barrenlands. Well, I want to hire you, both of you, to guide me to the site. I'll pay you $200 each to do it. $200? Well, that's if the site is worth it. But if we can verify the authenticity of this, there'll be a bonus. More than enough to cover this fire damage. And probably enough to send you back to school again. What do you say? That's very generous. The world needs to know about this, Jamie. 
And you know that between light and ignorance, there's simply no choice. Can you give us some time to think about this? Not long. I need to know. As soon as I can. Adventure. No, I told you, I don't want to help a grave robber. He's not a grave robber, he's a scientist or something. Well, then he can dig up his own people's bones. You're crazy. I can't believe you're passing up on $200. Well, I don't want his money. Not for that. Well, I do. I can pay back Uncle Angus, I can make things right. Don't you understand that? Jimmy, listen to me. That place is dangerous. I've had dreams. No, don't start with your dreams, all right? Dreams about a white wolf. The elders tell stories about the stone house. Don't you see? You can't rob it and just walk away. You can't spoof me. The money's that important to you? Yeah, it is. Why? For Angus? Or for you? What do you mean? I heard what he said about school. About leaving here. You know, forget it, all right? You don't want to come, you don't have to go. No, no. Tell me why you want the money. I don't know why I want it. I certainly made a mess of things up here, though, haven't I? You mean the fire? No, not, not just, I mean... Why did I ever come here? What am I going to do for the rest of my life? Hunt caribou? Trap beaver? Marry an Indian? Hey. Come on, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Come on. Awasis, come on. I didn't mean it like that. Angeline. Sit down. Asap came to see me this morning. He's anxious to take a wife. I told him to come back tomorrow and we talk. Tomorrow? Could I say he's waited long enough? Ever since you come home from the school, you look like you look like you lost your best friend. It's not acid. It's not just acid. It's just... I don't want to get married yet. What are you talking about? You're almost 17. Answer me, Angelina. He wants his answer tomorrow. James, this is a pleasant surprise. Well, I've come about your offer, Mr. Conley. Uh, Wasis won't go, but I'll guide you myself. Oh, I'm sorry, lad. I didn't think you'd be interested. The job's taken. Big nose? Mr. Zachariah Cole. But he's never even been to the stone house. Well, that's not what he tells me. He assures me he can find it. Did he? I hope he didn't take that promise to the bank. <laughs> you may have a point there. Now, uh, what would you say to an unholy trinity? 
$25 more. Done. You've got quite a head for business there, James. Once we get you out of this jungle and into the next. So, you're going back to the edge of the barren lands. That's right. To make your fame and fortune. Something like that. You should wait for Angus. I'm 18. I'm past the age of majority. The law makes you a man. What about your family? I'm sorry. I really gotta go. Tell my uncle when I get back, I'll pay for all his fire loss. And then? I really gotta go. Why are you letting him go? He does what he wants. Big Nose hates him, and who knows what the other man wants? Well, what does it matter to you? He's your friend, isn't he? Let it alone. I'm glad Asap doesn't see you like this, huh? Driscoll drove with a song, the wild duck and the drake, from the tall and the tufted reeds of the drear heart lake. And he saw how the reeds grew dark with the coming of night time, and dreamed of the long, dim hair of Bridget's bride. We go up the northwest tributary, and the portage we want could be anywhere along the stretch, but this map is guesswork at best. But the stone house. It's definitely on the Kazan River, hmm? Well, we call it the River of the Giants up here. Who does? I... I never heard that. Well, maybe you forgot. He's trying to trick us. A trick you? What are you talking about? You bet. I think the fire needs more wood, Mr. Big Nose. Let him do it. But each according to his abilities, the old expression goes. Talking about trick you. I, uh, I think our friend is not all there. Great. I'm sleeping next to a mad axe killer. <laughs> Don't worry. A wild country, is it not? My uncle says it takes its time warming up to you. I can imagine. When have I last looked at the round green eyes and the long wavering bodies of the dark leopards of the moon? Pardon me? <laughs> That's the poet Yates. <coughs> you are a lucky lad, Jamie. To see all of this before it's all destroyed Destroyed? The Chippewa, the Cree, the Inuit. Even your old uncle, they're all done in. Their way of life is finished. I don't mean to offend you, but I don't think you know what you're talking about. Oh, I do. I do. I've seen it happen all over the world, time and time again. Central America, Egypt, China. Their angry tears are gone. The holy centaurs of the hills are vanished. Do you agree with Mr. Yates, Zachariah? I see you're of another mind. Well put.
horses? What is it? What's wrong? Dream again. What did you see? Jamie was dead. Do you remember any of your Latin, Jamie? Not much. Try this. Servas id raciat. Let the slave do it? <laughs> well done. And excellent advice it is, too. Isn't that a fact, Zachariah? Please, flap check. Just a check. I can't be flying all over creation chasing nightmares. But Jamie's in trouble. You don't know anything of the sort. Oh, once I saw it. He dreamed it. You remember two years ago when my cousin died in the sanitarium in Winnipeg? What cousin? Uh, well, Wasis dreamed that too, even though she was hundreds of miles away. How come I never heard this story before, huh? It's true. He has a gift. All right, who's going to pay for the gas on this dream chase? Hmm. I figured as much. All right, all right. Be ready in half an hour. Go up, we'll have a quick look-see. We'll be back in time for you to cook me supper. I can't go looking for him. I've got work to do. He's in trouble. We don't know that, and even if he is, it's his own fault. Watch this. You're the one that's always talking about traditional ways. If your brother needs you, you can't refuse him. said you could come. You ever flown before, Oasis? Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Tante Hanatu, we good no more tansa. A game of scar and not play wa, a gun in a new one. Come and scold me when you have children of your own. Portage here. The sun is nailed on the Potahau. I told you we have to portage to the Kazon River. I say you're lying. Zachariah, enough. Give me the map, James. Listen. What is it? Quick, let's get to shore. Whoa, what's wrong? Just do as I say. Hurry up.
take care of both of you. He's crazy. That was Blackjack's plane. Just put the rifle down, Zachariah. I was just trying to scare him away. I think we've had enough excitement for one day. Put the rifle down. You told me no one was to follow. That's enough, Zachariah. No. What did you tell him? What did he think he was doing? The subject is closed. Besides, we have portage to find, do we not? Not anymore. Oh, I think we do. I think we do. Who are you? Really? I'm Martin Connolly, Department of Mines, Minerals, and Child Abduction. Why do you need a thug like Big Nose for? I have my reasons. But fear not, I won't let the brainless beast harm you. Is it a good book? Maybe. Could be a great book. It tells me what I need to know. Come here. You see, the rune masters were like uh, priests or shamans. And they often grouped their symbols in ways that uh, disguise their significance. Now, your spearhead here once belonged to a man named Kunar. A bold adventurer indeed. But apparently he thought he was in Greenland when he was actually here in Manitoba. Now, his code consisted of two circles of 12. That means? Maybe nothing. Or maybe Cooner's grave holds a lot more than bones and a spearhead. No. It's just an old sword and some armor. Really? Well, maybe you looked in the wrong room. What do you mean? There's only one room. Mr. Big Nose, back from the wilds, I see. What? What are you two talking about? We were discussing poetry. The poetry of a good stew. Ready, Master James? Almost. Excellent. As long as it's not too well seasoned. I like mine hot. Really? I find that simply fascinating.
little flapjack. What were those fellas doing shooting at us? Oh, I wish I knew. We're lucky to be alive, you know. I know that now. Are you all right? Did they hurt you? Oh, I'm fine. I watched us pluck my fat out of the fire. Thanks. Well, it looks like one of your nightmares got into the wasps. You can't fix it? Oh, yeah, 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 I can fix it. <clears throat> I have to take it apart. Take a couple of days tinkering at best. Two days? We can make it to the grave and back in two days. Oh, don't start, Jamie. Well, if we portage over this ridge, we'll end up at the River of the Giants. I don't want to hear it. I told you it was pointless going after him. I'm not talking about robbing the place. I'm talking about stopping Connolly. There's something in that grave that Connolly will do anything to get his hands on. And so will you. I'm talking about stopping Connolly. We'll hide the grave so he can't find it. We can either come back here, or, or if Flapjack's got the plane right, he can come back and pick us up. What do you say? Mm, sounds like a good plan to me. Take care, Angeline. Who said she'd come? I didn't. Angeline, wait! What do you think you're doing? Angeline, I forbid it! Angeline! How long are you two going to sulk? Ask him. You never should have come, Angeline. And you never should have let her. <laughs> She's your sister. Blame yourself. <laughs> Dragging me out of these stupidest schemes. Stupid porcupines. <laughs> Is the grave horrible? No. It's just a mound of stones. We'll be out of there in no time. I have something on my conscience, Jamie. Something I should have told you before. I dreamt you were dead. So, that's why we came looking for you. Are you serious? Is he serious? Well, I'm no ghost. I get the tick bites to prove it. I dreamt I went to the stone house. And the mourners were singing a death song. They let me pass through them into the crypt. And inside, there was an Eskimo woman. She was preparing the body of a slain warrior. But it wasn't Kunar. It was you, Jamie. You were lying in Kunar's grave. His spearhead was around your neck. All right. You told me. Shut up about it. And there was a guardian at the grave. A white wolf. I think you know the one I'm talking about. Don't you, Jamie? No. No, I don't. I knew you'd say that. But I had to tell you. I don't think we should go on to the stone house. Fine. If you're scared, you can stay here.
it is! We have to hide everything. And hurry. What's next? We cut brush to hide the grave. Hey, aren't you just a little curious as to what's inside? Jamie, Come on, we'll just go in. I knew you'd do this. I knew I couldn't trust you. you don't get so agitated. Come on, I'll just go in for a little look around. You can stand guard, and I'll be out in a flash. You're a fool, Jamie. You said I should return this, didn't you? We're going to cut brush to hide the grave. Oh, watch this. He just said to stand guard. Wasses! Will you come back? He said something strange about S circles of twelve. Twelve what? I don't know. Twelve apostles. Twelve loaves. Twelve drummers drumming. Twelve crosses.
I don't know. It must be worth a fortune. But it's gold. I don't think we should take it. What are you joking? Look at it. Wasis? Wasis! You'll never believe what we found. That's why the grave is cursed. There is no curse. Let go. The curse is in here. Let go. All you find is what you bring. And what? Tudor Miwas is Miwas in fine when he crawls inside that grave. Just about to have a nice spot of tea. The White Christ. I found many a fine piece in my day, but nothing the likes of this. I'm tempted to keep it myself. What? It wasn't worth a small fortune. How much of a share are you going to give Zachariah? Mr. Zachariah will be richly rewarded, isn't that a fact? Well, what are we going to do with him? What do you think we're going to do with him? No, 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 we don't kill him. Did I say anything about killing? No. We'll just leave them in the crypt. No! Did you just learn that word? We put him in there, it's the same as killing him. Not if we leave them food. And you telephone the authorities with their location. Change, change my voice. Brilliant idea. Don't do it, Zachariah. He'll kill you the moment you get him down the big river safely. It's the only reason he hired you. Girl, she comes with us. Oh, 
Evangeline! It's no use. I said it's no use. It's my sister. You don't think I know that? This is your fault. Oh, thank you very much. You brought her in here. You challenged the curse. Who left her alone outside? Who ran off into the woods and lost the rifle, huh? I lost the rifle when I saw the white wolf. You really saw it? So did I. And I had the fire. Look. I'm sorry I got you into all this mess. It's so like you. So cocky you even think you can control the dead. It's your dream, isn't it? It's all coming true. Spirit of Kunar came this way. Another dream. Don't you ever just sleep? Wait, let's go back. It's a cross. See if there's any more. All right, just do it. It's a cross. It's a circle. It's the other circle of twelve. What is it? What does it mean? And you found the way out. Yeah. <sighs> 
catch him now. How far ahead of us do you think they are? I don't know. But we'll have to run the rapids to catch up with them. You make a suit? You lost this in the woods. A week ago. What? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Come on, let's go. Have you carried the bag for a change? Now, don't spoil things by thinking. It doesn't become you. I done lots of thinking. What I think is you owe me more money. You calm down, my friend. I'm not your friend. You don't pay me enough to be your friend. Look, I'm paying you plenty. You didn't tell me about no cross. Big no doing all the work. I would suggest strongly that you keep quiet. Or what? What are you going to do, huh? We will discuss your remuneration when we camp, not here. Get Angeline back by killing ourselves. Just five minutes. When we get the cross, it could take me back to the grave. The cross is worth a fortune. You're talking like Connolly now. Everything's money, no matter what it really costs. It belongs in a museum. That's not what Kunar wants. Oh, I see. And Kunar just called you up and told you that? That's right. We got it. Rest is over. The sooner we get out, the sooner Big Nose can notify the authorities. Will you let him? Of course. What kind of monster do you think I am? Big Nose, I can't find the salt. We Never don't like the salt. salt. Big nose! Where is, where is he? 
Zachariah. What do you think? We put our bets down, let's run with it. All right with me. Big nose, we're ready to leave. She cares about them, you see. She'll testify. No, no, she won't say a word. She likes me now. Really? I don't think we can trust our lives to your personal charm, Zachariah, as immense as it may be. What's that mean? It means that the two of us are company, and the three of them is a crowd.
Do we stop? It's like I'll never get warm. I want to go to sleep. Oh, no, you freeze. Here. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Don't say that. Just. If I hadn't been taken in by Connolly, none of this would have happened. Oh, but you didn't know. You did. Owasis did. I mean, how could I trust somebody like Connolly and not my friends? You forget? I wasn't much of a friend then, was I? No. I deserved it. <laughs> I acted like a buffoon at the wedding. Porcupine, and next you're a guilt ridden puppy. Couldn't find much, just some berries and a, a few roots. Anything. It's okay, I'm famished. Well, yeah. if we ever get out of here, I'm just gonna stay at home and play checkers all day. No more Mr. Big Ideas. Look at this. You can't eat it. You can't drink it. It won't keep you warm when you're freezing to death. All it's ever caused us is grief. Canoe! Is it Connolly? It can't be. It's May Austin. Nanda! Angeline! How was it? I hear Arsap's talking to Madis about his youngest daughter, Ruth. Hmm. Because I went away? It's a grave insult. It's a grave injury. and Lenore coming back? Tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to tell them about the fire. Or anything else I did. Well, you survived Connolly. You'll survive this. Jamie? What are you going to I'm going to hide it. At least until Flapjack and flies back up north. What'd you think I was gonna do with it? 
Think I'm a complete idiot? Where's Jamie? He went to hide the cross. I thought he'd be back by now. Maybe he doesn't like our cook. Do you want me to go look for him? Maybe you should. Master said you were such a trustworthy lad. What do you want? Nothing much at all. Just the whereabouts of a valued friend. And which direction would that be? You told Zachariah? Now let's get right to the point, shall we? And I'm warning you, I want no digressions. Well, there's no use pouting about it, lad. The Canadian government had taken it away from you or Zachariah like that. I wasn't gonna sell it! I was gonna put it back. You... You were going to put it back. Here. Go back to camp. That's the way go. We have to hurry. <sighs> Thank you, James. What are you going to do now? Do you remember that Latin lesson we were having? Come, James, try this one. It's Cicero. Multum pecunium deportat. It means he carries away much money. One hundred thousand dollars from the Volkstraten Museum in Berlin, to be exact. So, if you just turn around, I'll be on my way. The devil! James! Uh, 
I uh, need a statement. Let me go, you fool. I represent a museum. It's the boy. He has the white Christ. Ask him about it. I think he shot a man by the name of Zachariah Cole. Uh, below the Maggie Sioux Falls. What you did with the white Christ? Go on! Tell him how much it's worth! He's been going on and on about this white Christ. You know what he's talking about? No. I know he went up north looking for something, but uh, I think he went bush crazy before he found it. He's lying! You've got to believe me, he took it from the Viking grave! You're a loony! Did you see the ghost or something? It's an important archaeological find. We can't leave without it. Please, no! never touched it. Good. The dead have too little for the living to take. Oh, would you stop now? She's starting to sound like a Baptist preacher. A what? A Baptist preacher. <laughs> never mind. Thanks, Jamie. It's just a hundred thousand dollars, that's all. I'll be back in a while. Where's he going? Say goodbye. us alone in the woods? No, not at all. Maybe I'll talk to your father about you. Well, maybe I'll talk to your uncle about you. have to face him. is a good friend of mine. Maybe you will be too. Jamie! I'm really sorry for everything. We're just glad you're all right. That's all that matters. <laughs> 